Today's video is in collaboration with Scentbird. That's how many times they think you're gonna make it around before I cross the finish line. Ten laps! She's a crow. What's Al Leone from BMW doing here? I came to spectate. No, Sophia. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I'm finally back at home in Tokyo. Um, I just got back from Kyoto, and I have so much stuff to do. So I have a feeling this is gonna be like a little productive week in my life type of vlog, cause I need to catch up. Also, I know I mentioned in another video, like I'm trying to do a lot of traveling this year. I just think it's super duper important to travel the world and do things while you're young, and like the the clock is ticking, and the Rona is destroyed. So yeah, I just finished getting ready and I already ate breakfast. Oh my God. Last summer, I bought this pumpkin pie spice. Um, The brand is Frontier and I got it from iHerb. When I tell you I'm a stickler for tradition, I don't break the rules. Guys, I've been waiting so long to use this dang spice, but I was like, it's not fall yet, just wait. I've been waiting. So finally I got to use it today and I decided to make some pumpkin pie pancakes, I guess. I, I don't know, but they was fire. Same way I make the banana pancakes and then just add that pumpkin pie spice. Wow. Toppings, I try to keep it full like. I had some pumpkin seeds, coconut and sliced almonds. Oh man. So yeah, I had breakfast. I got ready. This is my outfit. I actually have a whole bunch of errands to run, so I'm on my way out right now. But before that, today's video is actually in collaboration with Scentbird. A lot of people know I'm completely obsessed with perfume, so I'm very, very excited to be working with them. So Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to shop from over 600 different brands. They carry top designer brands brands like Gucci, Versace, Prada. It is a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month without any penalties. And it's only $15 a month. They have this cool thing on their website where you can take a quiz and it'll help you like discover the scent that is perfect for you. With each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply, so you don't actually have to commit to buying a full bottle of something. And you can upgrade to get two or three products a month if you'd like. This month, Scentbird is partnering up with a new fragrance brand called Sanctuary. So Sanctuary was created to help raise awareness and money in efforts to help save endangered species. I received the red panda scent. It smells really good and refreshing. I am a huge animal lover as you guys know, so I was so excited that they were doing this. Scentbird is going to donate $1 from each sanctuary vial of red panda to Red Panda Network, which is an organization that is committed to this cause. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. Also, if you use my code, you can get 30% off of your order, which is only $10 for the entire month. So I got five different scents. I am so happy to be sharing with y'all my secrets. So I got some of my old favorites. Chloe, Clinique Happy, Clinique Happy Heart, 
and Versace Bride Crystal. And of course, the star of the collection, the Sanctuary Red Panda. I love how it comes in this cute little pouch. Looks like this, closes by just twisting the cap. These vials are refillable. Clinique Happy reminds me of university, and the Chloe reminds me of all my days in Korea. So these are some of my signature scents if you want to check them out. So thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. Again, link is in the description box if you guys are interested. Use my code for 30% off. So it is fall and I really need to transition into this season. Like unlike living in California, Japan actually has four seasons and like I still haven't gotten the hang of it. Like you literally have to change out your clothes. You have to go through your entire closet, which is what I was doing earlier and actually wear different clothes. Like can you imagine? Actually, we kind of like skip fall. I really don't know what's going on. Like one day was sunny and now it's freezing. I legit pulled out the heat tech. This is heat tech. And then I have on this little sweater as well. Like, oh my God, it's legit cold. What happened? <laughs> Just made myself a little coffee, but I like super duper watered it down with a whole bunch of oat milk because I want to go to Starbucks later on and get the new full drink. That is one thing Japan does right. It's just like seasonal drinks and goodies. Oh man. So I gotta go see what Starbucks has because I actually don't even know, but I bet it's like a pumpkin or a sweet potato maybe. I don't know, but I'm excited. Really don't need any more coffee, but <laughs> tis the season. Don't know if any of you guys are into poetry, but my friend actually came out with a poetry book. Like how freaking cool is that? I actually bought mine on Amazon, so I know it's available on Amazon. This is just another example of if you want something, go out there and do it. The world is yours. I know so many of my friends that like, they have these great ideas and they have the basics down, but they want to have all the information before they start, resulting in them never starting. I don't know if y'all have anything that you guys want to accomplish. I highly recommend get the basics down, jump in. Because it's only two. You will learn as you go. You're gonna find out the rest. Don't wait. Time is the most valuable thing that you have. As I said, I need to get going because I have a whole bunch of errands to run, but knowing me, I'm going to try and kill 200 birds with one stone. I'm gonna pack up some of my office stuff and just like take everything with me just in case I want to do some work while I'm out. So I'm done with all the boring stuff. I had to do like a whole bunch of paperwork, drop off stuff at the post office, fill out junk. Took longer than I thought. I'm not so sure I should be getting a coffee right now, but I think I'm still gonna get one. I was walking through my neighborhood and I was like, yeah, it's fall season. Like the number one indicator that it is fall around here are these like persimmon trees. Never even knew what a persimmon was until I moved here. They're literally everywhere. It's like there's one right there. Birds pretty much eat them all, but pretty much every single resident has a persimmon tree in their yard. My neighborhood is like famous for persimmon trees. Oh my God, and I've actually only tried one like once. Wasn't that great? I think I need to give another try. Comment down below if you know what a persimmon is. Looks late, but it's actually only like five o'clock. I totally forgot like how dark it gets so quickly. Anyways, I decided I'm gonna go get that Starbucks drink. latte they had this really cool like frappuccino but i actually hate blended drinks it looks like a uh sweet potato one like i thought but yeah i just got iced autumn latte no idea what it tastes like huh. okay i don't know where the autumn is in this latte but it is a latte She's going to be uh, as good as anybody that has served on that court. We really feel that. Uh, President Trump, you're holding large rallies with crowds packed together, thousands of people. Outside. 
Outside, yes, sir. Agreed. Uh, Vice President Biden, you are holding much smaller uh, events with There's nobody will show up. People with <laughs> it's outside. That's a big difference, according to the experts. We do them outside. We have tremendous crowds, as you see. I mean, every and, and literally on 24 hours notice. All right, Ben, he's a fool on this. If you could get the crowds, you would have done the same thing. But you can't. Nobody cares. Gentlemen, can we move on to the economy? How old Gentlemen, is this guy? We built the greatest economy in history. We closed it down because of the China plague. When the plague China came, plague! We closed it down, which was very hard psychologically to do. He didn't think we should close it down, and he was wrong. And again, wow. 2 million people would be dead now instead of... Still, 204,000 people is too much. One person is too much. Should have never happened from China. But what happened Should have never happened from China. And now we're reopening. And we're doing Oh, my God. Business. And you look at what's going on with divorce. For a reason. What's going on with alcoholism and drugs. It's a very, very sad thing. And he'll close down the whole country. This guy wow. will close down the whole country. As and destroy our country. Our country is coming back incredibly well. Setting records as is it though? We don't need somebody to come in and say, let's shut it down. Holy right. poop. Your How is this sir, guy? Now move to you. I understand. You've agreed to the two minutes, so please let him have it. Do I get my time back? The fact is that he has, in fact, worked on this in a way that he's going to be the first president of the United States to leave office, having fewer jobs in his administration than when he became president. So I've just been home for a little while now and I'm so mad because it's super duper sunny outside. It is a beautiful day, but my dumb butt arranged for all my packages to come today. So I'm stuck in the house until they finish delivering everything. Like, I actually don't even know what most of this is. It feels soft, so I'm guessing it is samples from the store. Uh, so it's just basically a sit inside and wait for packages day. Oh my God, look at this sun. Good morning, guys. So the sun is out, and so am I, as always. I'm actually on my way to Tully's. I'm gonna go get the like seasonal drink. I was very disappointed with uh, Starbucks's drink, so I haven't got my fall fix. So we're gonna go to Tully's. I'm usually never disappointed with Starbucks's like, I don't know, seasonal drinks, but the Frappuccino looked good, but I don't like Frappuccinos. In America, I swear I've never ever tried Tully's, like not even once. Over here, I go to Tully's all the time. Actually, I prefer Tully's over Starbucks because Starbucks is usually too crowded and there's like 50 billion people there all the time and I can't get any seat with a plug. Tell this is always free. I don't know if this is a shortcut. Your girl might be lost. Also, I'm meeting up with Ash in a little while so that we can exchange some files and do some work. Um, I am planning another trip already. So I'm like trying to get everything like settled before it's time to go again. We're planning the new Moon Global shoot and then like we're leaving the next day on another trip. So very, very busy week. Oh my God, I actually see him. <laughs> That's so random. What up, man? What's up? What you doing out here in these streets? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah. I see your ponytail. Do a spin. Do a spin. Let me see the ponytail. Somebody's <laughs> so stupid. He think he cute with his ponytail. Look at that grown man with a ponytail. Oh, snap. The leaves are already changing. He low-key walks like he doesn't want his arms to touch his body. I just knew they were gonna have something. So it's like something pumpkin. Uh, I don't see the name anywhere. Oh, there it is. Caramel pumpkin latte. Let's do that. Let's do this. So I got it, the pumpkin caramel latte. Mmm. Tastes very like artificially pumpkin. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't been having like sugar in my coffee for like a really long time, so this is kind of like really sweet to me.
a sweater and have a ponytail, like you gotta be real careful, sweaters and ponytails. Comment down below if you can wear your sweater. Wait a minute. Sweater. Is this okay for men with ponytails? I just feel like it was giving off a lot of vibes. Just, just let me know. You gonna fall and die, and then I gotta explain to your mother what happened. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. I don't like this. It's a no from me. But I think the only reason why I don't like it is because he has a ponytail and a beard. So funny. We literally have so much work to do. Sky high piles. And we're just sitting around doing nothing. And we out here watching trains. This, this is what happened. This is why stuff don't get done. It was too nice of a day to be sitting in anybody's cafe or anybody's house working. Why am I vlogging like this? I'm not tall enough for this angle. See, this is why I just like walking around. Don't pay attention to his sweater. Look at that house and all these like trees in the sky. Oh, this is such a vibe. Are we lost? So we're actually gonna go for a walk in the forest. Um, I did not do my run this morning, so I'm just gonna count this as exercise, not shenanigans. Exercise. Yes. After that, I have a whole bunch of boring computer work to do, so I'm just gonna be sitting at the computer all day. Also, I really need to go to the immigrant. Immigrant? Ooh, why did that sound racist? You're an immigrant. I am an immigrant. I need to go to the immigration office. I have so much paperwork to turn in and I'm just scared. That place scares me. It's like the filling of the DMV plus police office. I don't know, it's like a mix of those two. I, I don't wanna go. So I'm at the grocery store and I swear this is like my weakness. Put anime on something and I'll buy it. They got Attack on Titan coffee. Like, do I really need this? I don't. Also looks like they're coming out with Demon Slayer Edition ones. I don't see them though. I found it. Oh my gosh. No, I like you, but no. I hate you. No, no. I hated him too. Yes. Master, yes. Oh my God, I don't need these. I'm gonna keep them forever. I got the bird. I was just about to buy all these and then I realized I'm gonna have to carry them. I need to pick out of these characters, help. I can't find Tanjiro or Nezuko in here at all. I think someone like picked them all out. The bird though, the bird. Oh wait, I think I'm gonna get these two. actually just met up with Ash to get um, some stuff. Shout out to Tamara. Oh my God, this pimple is living. Ugh. Shout out to Tamara. Oh my God. So when I was in Kyoto, I went to a Mexican restaurant and they actually had uh, tapatio. I have never seen tapatio here in Japan and she hit me up on Instagram. She's like, hey girl, I got access to the base. You want me to go get you some stuff? I was like, what? Can you bring some hot sauce and some stuffing? So yeah, um, I was actually sick and in the hospital at the time, so Ash met up with her because it was the same town as his. So yeah, I'm just picking up all that stuff now. I'm so excited, like, uh. Don't get me wrong, I like love living in Japan, but I really miss so many things about America. For one, driving, two, snacks. So yeah, I'm so excited. She brought me like stuffing, hot Cheetos. Your girl loves some hot Cheetos, that's my favorite. Chip ever. So excited. Like super duper productive today. I keep saying like it's like shenanigans, but it's not shenanigans. It's called 
normal and taking a break um I, I really need to get better at that just like taking normal breaks and not feeling guilty about not working every single day all day like i'm trying to work as if i was one healthy and then doing even more than that that's just really unrealistic like i'm actually sick i need to accept the fact that i'm sick and i can't do as much work as i would be able to if i was like fully healthy so yeah i need to learn how to take some breaks it's three o'clock and we're getting some work done now but i have been just not really doing that much nothing wrong with not overworking every five seconds <sighs> anyways reality so i'm gonna go in there sit down and get some work done i also haven't eaten yet it is like i said 3 30 no food yet so yeah, i'm gonna get some lunch and get some work done finally emails as I possibly could before they brought the food over. This table is so small. That's just Japan for you. Everything is miniaturized. Like you can eat on the table or you can work on the table. 